critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Citadel on fire! Mako, no! <laughs> We lost a squad mate, guys. No! Mako! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> I can't move on. I'm all broken up. Watch that first. Fuck, I hate that song. She's glowing. System malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. <laughs> Give me a rundown of the damage. <laughs> we have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class three fires are burning in sectors two, three, six, and seven. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Believed to be hostile. Once again, the cameras are not working. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Okay. So did the Destiny Ascension fly away to FTL so they could save the console? Or did it stick around to have it destroyed? What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Worker girl! Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is near the vicinity of the council chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest. A warrant. For Citadel security is unable to respond at this time. Yeah, arrest. You're funny. Come on. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. We have to stop Saren. Quickly, before it's too late. <laughs> She's going as fast as she can. <laughs> the fate of the entire galaxy hangs in the balance. <laughs> Saren is trying to take control of the Citadel. Open, open. You heard Tally, hurry up. Ah, I wish they all had Colossus armor. Rude. Why are you still here? The Leave. The closing. They're sealing the station. <sighs> I still don't know why they keep the console around. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Might want to move out of the way, dude. Coming through! We have connection with the phallic symbol. Saren 
Please lock the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Way down. I'm trying to dig a hole with that finger? <laughs> Because auto saves are sucky in this game. Taking a stroll down the citadel. I missed again. That never happened. Most of ammo for days. Eat it. Damn, it went too far. Hello there! Are you gonna put on your barrier? There you go. That didn't miss. Uh, Tully. No, uh, the R. Woo! That's a maximized throw. It's out of here! Really? Did you fit a rocket through there? It's still going! Air rocket, it don't mean a thing. <laughs> oh, we got <laughs> explosive ten. Holy cow. I'd actually give you those two to you, but you know, you guys just fire those weapons too fast. And you cannot switch fast enough. I have to switch it for you. Bye. You done? <laughs> ah, he's hopping on one foot. Hey, I'm laughing here. Leave Tally alone. Tally, good girl. Ah, I'm still far away. 15,000. Ouch. You're gonna make me farm, really?
final farm. shooting the gas ship. My weapon! <laughs> Come on, give me more! Farm the last map with Saren on the map. It takes forever. Give me more, any more XP, let's go!
slowest moving rockets ever. Rich! Thank you. 2,000 away. Okay, we got this. We got this in the bag. Yeah. I'm seeing a heart more. We we'll get that in the inside. I could go down this hallway and farm more, but it's not worth it. But once you get try to get to level 30 on your first playthrough, that is impossible. You need another over 400,000 more XP. That's just not going to happen. What happened here? Someone forgot to put their cigarette out? What the? I, what? Max rank possible. Maxter, Mars, and throw. Uh, stasis lifts really don't matter. I'm not going to use any of these. There you go. Combat exoskeleton. Scrum rail, high explosive. Friction spatial arrows. More shields! What do you want? What do you want? He runs up here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hack the bastard. Watching the Green Goblin too much. I was afraid you wouldn't make it 
in time, Shepard. Kill and get the slow work. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. And there it is! It's the only way they can get to this universe from Dark Space. Through the Citadel! I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. <laughs> you got more robotic parts put in you? You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. So what, your mind was strong enough to resist indoctrination without being chipped? That's what you're saying? Because I thought indoctrination was when you're close enough to Reaper tech for long periods of time. That's weird. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. <laughs> the strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Synthesis! <laughs> Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Yeah, well, eventually, you know, someone might win. Why not us? Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. Do it! It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. It took him long enough, but he said it right. The best he could. Twenty-four Paragon, because I needed that Paragon so much. What's the point of Paragon? Don't you need all twelve bars of Paragon to fill it up so you can just get that speech check? We have to stop him before he brings back the Reapers. There's no time to lose. We have to stop Saren. I, 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 didn't he just stop himself? Quickly, before it's too late. The fate of the entire galaxy hangs in the balance. Saren is trying to take control of the Citadel. <laughs> Isn't he down there? <laughs> Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? <laughs> Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. 
That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension or hold back? This is just crazy. Concentrate on Sovereign. Let the Council die! They're not real specific on this one. Concentrate on Sovereign. I mean, you don't know you're killing the Council by doing that. Two to kill, one to save. You're lucky Bambi thinks about the soldiers that are on that Destiny Ascension. You're, you just be thankful, Council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. No, they never do. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Of course, because Bambi's a good girl. Make sure he's dead. Double tap that bitch. Colossus armor are getting the tally. It's going to turn into the dark side. <laughs> he's dead. I thought we were going to get a boss fight. I hear enemies in the back. Now my question is, why doesn't Sovereign do that to Bambi right now? Bambi Shepard, why is she still alive? Too strong. We have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Is it worried about hitting the controls? Uh-oh, I think he bugged out! <laughs> <laughs> I 
posing! He's posing! <laughs> ah, you got some strange parts in this game. See, if Sovereign didn't enter Saren, he wouldn't have lost his barriers. You take a little fine beam, you aim it at Bambi Shepherd, and she's dead. You wouldn't have lost your barriers, you'd still be alive. Its shields are down. Now's our chance. It wasn't thinking logically. Everything we got. It was just using its half organic brain, and it decided to commit suicide. Sovereign is dead. You have ranged weapons, Joker! Don't do it! Oh dear. See all the sovereign rubble, all the Reaper rubble in here? Just keep that in mind as you go into the second game. Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Logically? Well, he is biomechanical. She lives! You beautiful CGI goddess. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Why? What did Bambi do? She's just been sitting around doing nothing all day. 
We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I have one thing to say to you. Fuck you! <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> then I pick you. I'm not picking you! We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Just keep that in mind. He actually called it Sovereign. So they're talking about the Reapers. So as you go into the second, second game... We have dismissed that claim. <laughs> okay, okay. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. The Reaper fleet. Walk away like a boss. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council. We have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Ah, oh, you gorgeous CGI woman. I gotta kill the music. I hope the music was killed this time. My last playthrough, I got hit fucking with the, uh, copper ape strike. Well, it wasn't a strike, it was just they muted it. I love the story in this game. It is definitely the best out of the three. I even like the gameplay. I think I... The, well, I wish they didn't nerf the difficulty. I really wish it would have made it harder because I picked Insanity for a reason. But it was fun to play. I don't know why people have problems with the, the, the gameplay in this one. I have problems in the second and third one just because of Vanguard. I've only played Vanguard in the second and third ones. And... Charge really doesn't work well in the second one. They they didn't even fix that. But oh, if anybody's listening right now, if you're a fan of the story in the second and third one, I I am not. I really hate the stories in the second and third one. The character development in this in the second one is awesome. I love the character development. That is a character development game. That's basically what it is. The main story is crap, but the character development is awesome. Some of the best character development I have ever seen in a game, and I don't play that many games, but it is awesome. Some of those, those character development lines are great, and it carries through into throughout the series. There's good character development in the third one, but the second one is the, definitely the best game for character development. The first one even starts it off great. The world building in this game, this the first game, is awesome. They lay it out there. They give you a codex to read. It is awesome. I love this game. I really don't like the, the main stories in the second and third one. It, there's so much contradiction. There's so much retconning in the universe. And I don't like how they change the RPG aspect of it. When you can't collect weapons and armor and equipment like you could in the first game. It is so good in the first game. You can see what kind of damage you can do with your weapons. And what kind of damage you can take with your armor. I don't know why they stripped that out of the second game. Why would you do that? What is the point? Why would you streamline it? The first game was developed for the console. It wasn't developed for the P 
PC. It's one thing to have, like, let's, let's go back to a, uh, XCOM, Enemy Unknown. That game, original one, was developed for the PC. So that had a lot of information. You micromanaged just about everything you could. Okay, that's fine. You bring it to the console, and maybe the console can't handle all that information. That's fine. You strip it down. That's good. But this one started on the console, and you just strip it down for the second. I, I, I just don't get it. Why? I love looting. I love looting. <laughs> Why would you do that? I love the difficulty. I love to get difficulty in the second game compared to the first one. But I don't like how charge doesn't work properly. I will pick Vanguard again. Because I love it when it works. It is fucking awesome when it works. Vanguard is the best. But, oh man, if you went to my Renegade playthrough in on Arrival, the... Uh, the first collector ship uh, meetup and the collector base, I raged so hard, just so hard at that game. I was swearing at the top of my fucking lungs. There was a point in the game on the, the final mission where the game wasn't registering the health bars on the enemies, so that means charge does not work because the game does not recognize that enemy being on screen, even though it's beaten up Bambi Shepherd. <laughs> I was screaming at the top of my lungs, what the hell, why would you put this game out like this? <laughs> and it's gonna happen again, and I hope I laugh this time instead of rage. I hope I laugh more. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it was, it was that bad.